the narcissist with the victim mentality. Now, we can have all have been a victim at one point or another within our lives and we can all go into that victim mentality when we have been victimised by someone and even though their treatment of us is not our fault, it is our responsibility to recover and heal so that we don't punish anybody else for the things that we have been through. When it comes to narcissistic individuals, many of them will use the victim mentality if it means they can avoid consequences for their actions if it means they can gain some form of sympathetic attention if it means they can gain some form of special privilege doesn't actually take away from the fact that they might have been a victim however it is still their responsibility to deal with the recovery just like it is ours. Narcissistic people tend to run from at least five of the nine criteria which makes up their personality, which makes their personal reality, such as that sense of entitlement, a lack of empathy, exploitative behaviour, envious of others, seeking that excessive attention believing that they are special, preoccupied with themselves, that sense of grandiosity, the arrogant and haunty behaviours. Now, some narcissistic individuals will channel this into a personality of grandiosity. Some are a little bit more malignant with that sadism behind them. Some can be more communal, some can be more compassionate, some can be somatic when it comes to using their looks to manipulate, some can be cerebral when it comes to using their intelligence. Most are fragile underneath and many can use that victim mentality in order to exploit others to get their needs met. Now, when it comes to the victim narcissist, they're going to use their victimhood to gain that excessive attention from those around them. They have a constant need for attention. They seek the sympathy from those around them. They seek that constant reassurance and support that they're not the problem. They manipulate situations to gain the sympathetic attention. So when they have hurt someone in the most horrific ways in order to avoid taking responsibility, in order to avoid consequences for their actions and in order to gain the validation that their version of reality is right and it's the other person who is the problem, a narcissistic individual will happily play the victim and they do it so well with their charismatic charm they get people to buy into their lies and they often end up end up gaining enablers and flying monkeys to go after those who dare to stand up to them they go all out to blame others for anything that they do wrong they have a refusal to admit responsibility, a refusal to take responsibility. They were doing it for your own good. They were only trying to help. They didn't know any better. They didn't know. They refused to take responsibility and they are very quick to shift the blame onto a scapegoat, to manipulate the situation, to make it look like somebody else is at fault, like it's somebody else's problem. They're going to go all out to manipulate others into feeling sorry for them so that they can get away with their behaviour. They want to remain in that sense of superiority and they want to avoid any feelings of their own inadequacy, their own failures. They're looking to pass these on to anybody and everybody else in order to get away with their behaviour. If something goes wrong at work, they'll blame the boss for not instructing them right. They'll blame the worker for not doing it right. If somebody something goes wrong in a relationship, they will solely blame the other person. They have that chronic sense of entitlement and they believe that other people are privileged. Other people have all the luck. They lack the empathy to be willing to see the pain and the suffering that 
other people go through. It's all about them getting their needs met. Nobody has ever suffered quite like they have. They will use ancient history, they will use their ancestors in order to get their sense of entitlement met without having the actual ability to do something. They believe they're entitled to that special treatment and those special privileges. They express extreme dissatisfaction when they don't get their own way, when they don't get their needs met, when their expectations are not met. They accuse other people of attacking them. They accuse other people of going against them. They go to great lengths to seek the validation that they're in the right and to get the special privileges and the special attention that they believe they're rightly owed by those around them and it doesn't compute when people try to explain otherwise. They have a complete lack of empathy towards other people despite their constant need for that reassurance and that support, support and that validation from those around them. They fail to have empathy for others or towards others' pain. They are that consumed by their own suffering, they fail to recognise the suffering of others. They're that preoccupied with getting their own needs and their own desires met. They lack the ability to genuinely understand and empathise with those around them. They've always suffered far more than anybody else. It's always that, what about me? what are you going to do for me? They have they always turn it on to how they've suffered far worse than anybody else. They lack the empathy to care. They can pretend to care if they need to manipulate a situation into their favour. They use a ton of emotional manipulation from guilt tripping to shaming to humiliation in order to maintain control of their victims and maintain control of their victim status. They're looking to gaslight others, to make other people feel guilty, to make other people feel sympathy towards them and support them. They they use other people's compassion against them in order to manipulate the situation into their advantage. They gaslight and distort reality to suit their own agenda and they, they go all out. So it, it's very challenging to call them out because if you do try to call them out, they twist it onto how you're the unreasonable one. You're the one who's attacking them. You're the one who's harming them. You're the one that likes the compassion towards them because you won't bow down and do as they say. And they often have a complete lack of self-awareness. They just don't get it. They cry from the rooftops of how hard done to they are and they never seem ashamed by their behaviour. They never seem embarrassed by their behaviour. They're just looking to exploit people and if anyone dares to try and point out their behaviour, they just go into that victim mindset and they get enough people who have the compassion to back them up and support them and help them to continue to get away with their behaviour. Any signs of a victim narcissist that you notice, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no understanding of your boundaries. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.